Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of polynomials, we shall be taking question 5 of exercise 2.5. So let's start. Question 5 says factorize these two given products. Okay. Now each product has six terms over here. As you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right. Which identity has six terms in the product? Naturally, it is identity 5, which has the product x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx. Yes, whose factors are x plus y plus z whole square. Yes, whole square means the factors are multiplied by itself twice, right? So whenever we have six terms in the product, so its factors are x plus y plus z whole square, right? Now let's start with the first question. Now, first part of question 5 is factorize the given product that is 4x square plus 9y square plus 16z square plus 12xy minus 24yz minus 16xz, right? Now, there are six terms in this product. So, which identity matches with this? This is identity 5, which says then whenever we have x square plus y square plus z square, plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx, that means six terms in the product, the factors are x plus y plus z whole square, right? So basically what we have to identify in the given product, we have to identify what is our x, what is our y and what is our z, right? Now let us start with the product. Now first term is 4x square. 4 is a square number, x is also a square, which we can easily write as 2x whole square, right? So 4x square can be written as 2x whole square. Now 9y square can be written as 3y whole square, right? 16 is again a square number, right? So we can write 4z whole square, but over here minus sign is also there. Why minus sign is there? Because if you observe the terms, wherever the z is going, it is turning the terms into negative, right? The identity is with the plus sign, but wherever the z is going, the z is the common factor, we can say. So wherever the z is going, it is turning the positive into negative. That means z is the culprit. It is the uh, term with the minus sign. Right, z is the common factor over here also, here also. So we will write minus 4z whole square. And as we know, square of the negative number is also positive. So these first three terms will always be positive because these are square terms, right? Now, next is 12xy. 12xy is made up of 2 into x into y, right? 2 into x into y. Now, looking at the first three terms, 2x whole square, 3y whole square, and minus 4z whole square, can I say that my x is 2x and my y is 3y and z is minus 4z, right? According to the identity, I have to identify my first x square, then y square, and then z square. And isn't it 2x as x and 3y as y and minus 4z as z, right? Now, next is 2xy. Next in the product is 2xy. So, 2 into x. x is 2x, y is 3y, right? Next in the product is 2yz. So, 2yz, accordingly, you will write 2 into 3y, right? y is 3y and z is minus 4z. Right. Now, even if you multiply them 2 into 3, 6, 6 into 4, 24 and minus with the minus. So minus 24yz. Isn't it minus 24yz? Similarly, you can check over here also 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 3, 12. So 12xy then minus 24xyz. So basically we have split 12xy then minus 24yz right and now next is 2zx so 2 times of z into x so isn't it 2 into 4 8 8 into 2 16 so isn't it 16xz with a minus sign 
right so what we are doing we are just splitting the terms according to what is given in the identity 2xy 2yz 2zx and accordingly right so when we have identified what is our x right when we have already identified what is our x what is our y and what is our z the identity says what then the factors are x plus y plus z whole square so over here 2x plus 3y minus 4z whole square right x is 2x y is 3y and z is minus 4z right and anything square means what suppose i say a square a square means what a into a right the number multiplied by itself so number multiplied by itself same number same factors right so this is how we have solved the first part using identity 5 now let us take up second part in second part we are given 2x square plus y square plus 8z square minus 2 root 2xy plus 4 root 2yz minus 8xz this is the product which has six terms so naturally we are going to use identity 5 over here which says whenever you have x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx then the factors are x plus y plus z whole square right now let us start with the product now first term of the product is 2x square if we have to write in the form of a square now 2 is not a square number but we know that root 2 into root 2 right so it is 2 right or we can say it is square of root 2 right so 2 is square of root 2 so that is what we have written over here root 2 x whole square now there is a minus sign why minus sign is uh, there because in the product if you observe minus is over here minus 2 root 2 x y and minus is over here minus 8 x z which is the common factor over here if you observe isn't your x the common factor over here right so x is the culprit which is turning the positives into negatives so minus will come with x okay that's why we have written minus root 2 x whole square now y square simply we can write y whole square and now 8 z square now 8 is again not a square number right we can write it 4 into 2 yes 8 is equal to 4 into 2 further we can say it is 2 square yes and 2 is what root 2 whole square right now together we can write 2 root 2 and whole square isn't it 4 is 2 square 2 is root 2 square now 2 into root 2 whole square right so this is what we have done 2 root 2 z whole square right next we are going to split this minus root 2 2 root 2 xy okay because next term in the identity is 2 xy so 2 into x what is x now from here for from first three terms we can easily find what is our x what is our y and what is our z right so x is what minus 2 root x y is y and z is 2 root 2 so accordingly we have written over here 2 x into y then 2 y into z then 2 z into x right same as identity identity says 2 y z then 2 x 2 z x or x z is same right and you can check also now 2 into minus root 2 isn't it minus 2 root 2 x y yes then 2 into 2 4 so 4 root 2 y z then 2 into 2 and root 2 into root 2 is 2 so 3 times 2 you will get that is 8 8 x z right so we have checked also that it is correct right so when we have such product yes so the factors are what x plus y plus z whole square so accordingly x we will write that is minus root 2 x plus y 
plus 2 root 2 z whole square and now whole square means the factor multiplied by itself that means you will write the factors twice right so this is how we have solved the second part also using identity 5 so this is it children hope you have understood these two questions where we have to apply identity 5 to factorize the given product in the next video i will be taking question 6 thank you everyone have a great day ahead